Hello everyone. Now I'm going to explain the concept of ring chain isomers. So first of all, define the ring chain isomers. The structural isomers which are defined cyclic nature of parent chain are called ring chain isomers. That is, if one chain has open chain as a parent chain, then other chain must have closed chain as a parent chain. Let us see some examples. C4 H8 Now we are going to draw some structural isomers. We have to find the relation between given structural isomers. So, so here, let us consider A and this is B. Here, parent chain is open chain. So, this is the PC here. The name of the compound is so first of all do numbering. So name of the compound will be beauty. So B your parent chain is Here, closed chain is a parent chain. The name of this given molecule is cyclobutane. So, in one molecule here, open chain as a parent chain, and other molecule has closed chain as a parent chain. Both have same molecular formula C4H8, but both have different connectivity. Therefore, both are under the category of structural isomers. But uh, one has open chain structure, other has closed chain as a parent chain. Therefore, A and B are considered as ring chain isomers. ring chain isomers let us see another example molecular formula is c7 h14 so we're going to draw some structure Let us consider this is A and this is B. So find out the parent chain in the given molecule. So parent chain is, so here the number of carbon atom is 3 in the side chain and in the closed chain number of carbon atom is 4. Therefore, in the cyclic system, that chain will be considered as parent chain having maximum number of carbon atom. If number of carbon atom are equal, then cyclic chain will be considered as parent chain. Here, cyclic chain has more number of carbon atom. Therefore, this is the parent chain. So here PC is this. So this is side chain. So name will be
profile cyclobutane. First of all, find out the PC here. Number of carbonator is 4 in the open chain, 5. This is side chain. Number of carbonator here is 3 and here is 4. This will be the PC. The name of the given compound will be Cyclo profile butane. So cyclo profile butane. So see here in given example parent chain is closed chain. Find B parent chain is open chain. Therefore A and B are considered as ring chain isomers. So A and B are ring chain isomers. So here in A, closed chain is a parent chain. While in B, open chain is a parent chain. So nature of cyclic nature of chain is changed. Therefore, A and B are considered as ring chain isomers. Let us take another example. So we have C5 H8. We are, we are going to draw some structure. So, this will be the structure, first structure, and this will be the another structure. The last structure is this. So, first of all, identify the parent chain of given structure. So, here, this chain is considered as a PC. And here also, this open chain is considered as a parent chain. And here, this closed chain is considered as a PC. First, it is considered A. This is considered B and this is considered as C. So the name of the A will be Fentine while the name of the B will be So for writing the name of the B you have to number this. So number will start from either side 3, 4, 5. So name will be Fent one four dine. The name of the sea will be Cyclo Pentine. So see here in A and B both have open chain is a parent chain while C has closed chain is a parent chain. So therefore A and B are not considered the ring chain isomers while A and C and B and C will be considered as a ring chain isomers because both have different cyclic nature of parent chain. A is open chain, C is cyclic. B is open chain and C is cyclic. So ring chain isomers is A and C, B and C. So, conclusion is for ring chain isomers, one molecule must have open chain as a parent chain, and other molecule must have closed chain as a parent chain. Ring chain isomers is a part of functional isomers. Thanks for watching my video.